Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my garage. I am here with a K-Series motor and I'm gonna be disassembling it today. Uh, this motor is actually from my dad's old Accord. He gave me this motor. This is a K24A4 motor. This is pretty much just a spare motor that I have. He gave it to me. He actually swapped it out for another A4 motor uh, because he said he was having some issues with this motor, said he was overheating or something like that. So maybe it was a head gasket uh, leaking. But uh, today we're gonna go ahead and open it up and see what's uh, going, in, going on inside. And uh, yeah, so this is a spare motor. So maybe I open it up, put a new piston, new rods, and maybe swap it out back into the element as you guys know i have a turbo honda element and uh yeah so maybe we can open this one up put bigger pistons not bigger pistons but like stronger pistons stronger rods and then maybe we could turn up the boost a lot more the element is doing good so far but the only thing is uh i need to put a limited slip differential in her because she has crazy torque steer because right now i took out the all-wheel drive system so right now it's just front wheel drive so i need to put a limited slip differential and then we'll see from there what happens but for now but let's uh open this bad boy up and see how the internals are all righty guys so here as you guys can see this is the motor my dad gave me it's all stock it has all the stock parts obviously all the accessories were taken off when it was swapped with the other one so hopefully it's nothing too crazy maybe the head gasket's bad um but hey this is a spare motor that i have so like i said maybe i can strengthen her up put bigger pistons uh or better pistons better rods and then uh maybe i can turn her up this is a k24 a4 motor so these motors come in the honda elements uh some accords um i don't know what other but this is pretty much like the weak k24 motor but so far i mean she's doing good on mine i'm running like 12 15 psi but obviously like i said it's not running that good because it doesn't have a limited slip but uh, let's go ahead and open this up Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I disassembled all the cams and everything that goes in the head and uh, put everything in a box for now. Um, but yeah, this is the first time I disassembled this Honda motor, so I really don't know what I'm doing. But I'm just taking stuff apart. Now I'm ready to take off the head so we can discover the, the top of the pistons and then uh, yeah, so we'll see what, what uh, we find. Alright guys, right now I just took out the headers and you can see all the cylinders here and it looks like there was getting some cooling in these two last cylinders as you can see here there's some type of residue there first two not really much but these two for sure so maybe the head gasket was getting madder but we'll see all right guys we're gonna take out the head now we're gonna take out all these bolts
right, guys. So here's the uh, here's the pistons. I got some of the water in it because I washed the engine before. What the hell is this? But, uh, yeah, there she is. Now I'm going to open up the bottom. Here she is. Let's see? Hmm. Big old oil pump. So I finally took out that piece which holds the crankshaft and uh, the bearings, they look pretty good. You can see all the caps, I mean they all look pretty decent, I mean they don't look bad at all. There's some maybe a little bit stuck as a line there but it's a little bit too but nothing crazy. But other than that, I mean... Everything's looking good so far. I'm gonna go ahead, start taking out the pistons and rods, and then move on from there. I have a box of K series laying here, but oh well. Alrighty, guys, so there you have it. I took out the crankshaft, took out the pistons, the rods. Look how tiny these rods are. These are the K24A4. They're extremely tiny. Look at my finger, look at that. They're super, super tiny. Here we got the crankshaft. Everything looks pretty good. Bearings, bearings look pretty good as well. Nothing too crazy. Let me see if I could turn this thing around. So we're gonna see the cylinder walls. Yeah, I made a whole mess of oil. They don't look too bad. I mean, I don't full of oil, but yeah, I mean, eh, they're not, I don't know. But there she is. There you guys have it. Uh, that was this, this assembly of the K24A4. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe, like I said, it's a much bigger piston uh not bigger but much stronger rods as you can see these things are tiny put bigger rods stronger rods maybe some stronger pistons people always leave this uh leave the crankshafts just replace the bearings maybe epoxy this who knows we'll see what do you guys think uh we should do. Alrighty. Well, until next time. Uh, yeah. So now I gotta pick up this mess. So see ya.